Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk doing a quick video tutorial on how to solve trigonometric equations. So what does that mean? Well, let's define what an equation is. An equation is just a mathematical statement with an equal sign. So for example, 2x plus 3 equals 13. And solving it means finding out what x is equal to. Okay, what is the value inside of the container x? So what we would do is we would rearrange it to make x the subject. So 2x is equal to 10. x is equal to 10 divided by 2. x is equal to 5. Okay, so that's how you solve an equation. Now let's talk about how to solve a trigonometric equation. So a trigonometric equation is similar to an equation but we have a trigonometric function in there somewhere. So let's try to solve this. Cos x equals 0 0.5 4.8. Okay, cos x equals 0.48. Now, the first thing you want to do is define what the domain for x equals. So let's say we define x, uh, the domain of x is. Um, domain of x is between 0 and 2 pi okay or you can say 0 and 360 degrees but if the question specifies the angle in terms of pi then you automatically know that it's got to be done in radians so just make sure that you set your calculator on radians before you do this Okay, so now we're going to rearrange it to make x the subject. So, cos, sorry, x equals inverse cos 0 0.48. And if you type that in your calculator, uh, put your calculator on radians and then do inverse cos bracket 0 0.48. By the way, arc cos just means inverse cos. Inverse cos bracket 0 0.48 and you get 1.0701. So you write that down. 1.0701. Um, let me just see what that is. O oh, one. Okay, write it to four decimal places. Okay, now let's have a look at the question again. It says find all values of x. So that means there could be more than one solution. Okay, this could be um, one of the solutions, but how do we then go about finding um, the next solution? Okay, so let's draw our little unit circle. Let's draw a unit circle and see if we can derive anything from that. So we have a unit circle in the middle okay and then let's draw out the angle so we have 0 uh, pi over 2 pi 3 pi over 2 and um, back to 2 pi again okay so if I um, express these numbers as decimals, pi is 
right? 2 pi is 6.28. 1.5 times 3.14 is uh, 4.71. Let me just put equals there. And then we have pi over 2, so half of 3.14 is 1.57. So these green ones are in radians. Okay, so um, the angle of 1.07 radians, let's just put a radian symbol there. 1.07 radians uh, means that it is somewhere along here in the first quadrant. Okay, so this angle here is 1.07. Okay, now let's have a look at the x corner of this number because the x corner of this valley, uh, this dot on the circumference um, is uh, 0 0.48. Okay, so so the x corner is 0 0.48, right? Because cos x is 0 0.48, so cos x, remember. The cosine theta is equal to the x coordinate of the point on the circumference. So if the x coordinate is 0 0.48, we want to find out where else on this unit circle will have the same x coordinate. Okay, so every other point on the unit circle we got to try and examine it and see what the x coordinate is and see if it matches this point. So let's go around the circle. No, 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 no. Yes, this point here has the same x coordinate as this point. And they're both 0 0.48. Now the question is, what is this angle? Okay, what is the angle from the positive x axis all the way around? to this line here. Now if this angle, let me just zoom in on this circle. Now if this little angle inside of this triangle is the same as this angle here, which is, uh, what was it, 1.07. So if this angle here is 1.07, Then all we have to do to find out this yellow angle, let's call it yellow angle theta 2. Let's call the yellow angle theta 2. To find out theta 2, all we have to do, oops, theta 2 is equal to 360, which is 2 pi minus the purple angle which is 1.07 so let's find out what theta 2 is um, so 2 pi minus 1.07 2 pi minus 1.07 actually let's just do a few more decimal places just in case 1.0701 and the answer is 5.213. So the answer is 5.213 uh, 1 radians. Now let's go back to the default zoom and see if that is indeed the case. So we have the possible solutions of x, all possible answers for x between 0 and 2 pi is 1.0701. 
1.0701 and 5.2131 now let's just do a quick check on our calculator just to make sure we're right so what we want to check is that when we type in cos So check, we, when we type in cos 1.0701, okay, it should equal um, 0 0.48 as it says in the question. And we also want to check cos of 5.2131, that it gives us 0 0.48. Now, because we have rounded the answers, they might not be exactly correct um, exactly 0 0.48 but it should be that if we round it so cos 1.0701 so put a calculator on radians cos 1.7101 and you get ah did I do 1.0701 so cos 1.0701 and you get 0 0.48 so that's great and the other one 5.2131 so cos 5.2131 the answer is 0 0.48 as well okay thanks for watching guys see you next